in five-star luxury hotels that typically is a good amount of waste. At the Emirates Palace, we want to make our purpose to not add to the waste. The date palms are an integral part of our resort ecosystem. We've got more than 500 of them and six types of distinct different dates. We pollinate, they grow, we harvest. All dates harvested in our hotel are incorporated in the one or the other food experiences. We do a date jam that accompanies our scones for afternoon tea. We use date syrup to produce sweetness to various our desserts. And we share them with our staff during Ramadan breaking fast. Dates are an invaluable source for this region. Harvested since millennia, in Islam, breaking the fast with a date is the one thing everybody does. The key efforts of Mandan Oriental are to act with responsibility wherever we can, in the local communities, globally, whatever we can do to improve the environment. Welcome to the Emirates Palace Mandarin Oriental Abu Dhabi. We are a unique five-star luxury hotel in Abu Dhabi, the capital of the United Arab Emirates. And also the first hotel in region that offers a vegan room experience. Veganism has nothing to do with simplicity. We realize that the vegan lifestyle is not limited to food and beverage alone, and this is what we wanted to give to our guests in a complete different but elevated luxury way. These rooms are a composition of many individual items and all leading to making sure veganism chain is not broken. So everything we do for minibar products, the sheets, the bathroom amenities, everything is completely vegan. Even our colleagues who are cleaning the rooms will never go in with leather shoes. So we go to an extent that I believe we can be proud of. While veganism is absolutely growing and the lifestyle choice by so many, it is currently mostly anchored in the food and beverage industry. Sourcing vegan linen, sourcing companies that produce these guaranteed qualities at this incredible high standard level has been a real challenge. And it took us quite a while to source the right manufacturer. If we don't take care of the product that we have procured, we will disrupt the entire value chain. Our cleaning cycle, the detergents we use are all chemical free and are all aligned in the full veganism style. The beauty about the bed sheets and the bed linen is that they are incredibly, incredibly comfortable. This is a small company that produces a very small quantity of totally organic material, 100% organic byproduct. So it is made of Cupro, it is made of viscose, and it's biodegradable, it feels good, it's sensational. The guests absolutely love it. They approach us and said, where can we buy the linen? It became a real trend and we have made this part of our retail line and we landed a hit. As we started researching about vegan lifestyle and vegan rooms in general, we realized there's so much more than just the bed sheet. So we needed to start by eliminating the woolen carpet, which normally hotels are proud of. There is no leather application, no leather trim. Everything is exchanged by faux leather. Everything is exchanged by fabric and even the fabric everything is non-chemically treated. One of the major objectives, of course, is to make sure all our products we offer and we have in place in the room are cruelty-free, non-animal tested, and completely comply to the vegan lifestyle. Whether it is the foam pillows that substitute um, either down or feather pillows, or the skincare products that we deploy, everything is really, really taken care of individually and hand-selected. And therefore, the growing demand, the growing need, we serve it really, really well. Whilst we consider it self-explanatory that within the confines of our vegan rooms, you will only have a vegan room service menu. Across the entire hotel, all our food offering is specialized for vegan, but in a very smart way. A vegan knows what to eat and what not to eat. So we don't indicate on the buffet, this is the vegan area. The major factor that assists us to be truly vegan is the abundance of vegan food that we have in this Middle Eastern region. Mediterranean diets, Arabic food is all around hummus, it's all about mutabal. We've got these wonderful products that are plant-based, that are olive oil enriched, and that give us already an organic variety of choices. With our UAE partner Greenhearts, everything is pesticide-free. It would not be advantageous for us if we build a greenhouse and we artificially cool it or warm it. So highly seasonal, organic, it's just a natural continuation of our environmental engagement, but particularly focused for Italian fine dining. 
in the kitchen, when you see your ingredients growing, you take care a bit more, almost like a, your baby, no? I think I'm really lucky because uh, when you have your uh, garden, your place, you can go there, you can pick. Every day you can uh, discover, okay, you can do some different thing. With uh, one ingredient, you can do really nice, uh, unique dish. In our hotel, we grow these dates. We know there's so many variety, but uh, this one I really love. I will use for the affogato on top of the ice cream. I cook with a big cream. I make this jam, I will put on top of the ice cream. I mean, I'm also lucky because since when I'm in Abu Dhabi, I start to use it. In Italy, you cannot find a lot. It's really nice. My most popular vegan dish is the bistecca mushroom, bistecca di funghi in Italian. It's a four different consistency of mushroom. I will use a vegan juice for the mushroom. And the same dish I use also as a nut. The local uh, ingredient is really important for the chef. I think it's something really unique. Uh, you can say, look, uh, this ingredient this morning we just take from our garden. It's super fresh, it's super, uh, I think give uh, something a bit more no, for the experience. Overall, the hotel has 400 rooms and suites. Our initial phase, which started two years ago, we allocated six rooms in the hotel as it was a startup. I believe the need for vegan sweets is absolutely critical because luxury is limitless and vegan lifestyle is limitless too. So I think the expansion into larger accommodation, into better and more luxurious stay is just waiting for us. We are confident that we have set a trend. We are pioneering. It's a little bit the Wild West of what we are doing here. We at the Emirates Palace have abolished single-use plastic two years ago. We are recycling whatever we can. And I can only encourage other people to follow suit and to help us to create a better world, a more plant-based food chain and more awareness about a healthy lifestyle. To define luxury at the Emirates Palace is a really interesting task. 18 years ago when the hotel was built, luxury was defined with gold, with granite, with marble, with opulence. 18 years later, it is defined by humility, it is defined by experiences. So our mission today is to satisfy customers from all walks of life and introduce them to experiences and to moments of delight that without us they probably couldn't have had. It was a pleasure having you at the Emirates Palace Mandan Oriental, and we hope to welcome you soon again.